Once upon a time there was a king called Resurrection Remix, but then everybody started becoming a king with features and customization. So in this video we'll find out is the Resurrection Remix still the best room for features and customization. I will review this Resurrection Remix latest build on my Redmi Note 7 Pro, but don't worry, it is available for almost every Android phone. It has GSI option also. So let's begin. So when you install this room, it might look like very boring stock Android, but when you go to settings, you will find this tab called Resurrection Tools and here you will find magic. As you can see, there are hundreds of features and customization. So any feature or customization that exists in the universe, you will find in this room. So not only I can customize my status bar icons, my battery icons, I can give gestures to my status bar. For example, if I double tap on my status bar, it will turn off the screen. Just have a look. And the animation you just saw is also part of the features. So every single corner of the screen you can customize with Resurrection Remix. As I was getting bored with digital clock, I put analog clock on my last screen, which reminds me of Nokia N series. And I still miss my Nokia N72. Also, you can choose what kind of screen off animation you want in your phone. And because I'm 90s kid, I chose CRT mode and it looks dope. Guys, just have a look at this quick static panel. I mean, it looks crazy. Not only you can change accent colors, you can even change the shape of tiles. You can make your phone completely personal. Also, the amount of tiles you have, I mean, you don't need to go anywhere else for quick shortcut. There is screen recorder here a dedicated gaming mode for which I will make a separate video. Then we have CPU info. When you tap on that, you will see CPU core overlay. We have calculator. Then next we have screen stabilizer. It will help you when you are in bus or you are moving. It use all the sensors and stabilize the screen. Then we have sound recorder can be useful sometimes. So there are plenty of other shortcuts. If you want, you can add them. Also, you can make your quick setting completely transparent if you want. And then we have status bar customization. As you can see, I have network traffic indicators on my status bar where I can actively monitor my data. And instead of battery icon, I chose to keep only battery percentage. Now for battery bar, I have this notch on my Redmi Note 7 Pro. So I kept battery bar on the top of navigation bar. With this, I can constantly keep an eye on battery. If your phone doesn't have notch, you can keep this on your status bar too. Then let's move ahead and customize the navigation bar. You can replace it with fling bar, where you can swipe right or left and assign a custom action. I prefer this over the latest Android 10 navigation system. Moving ahead, we have three finger screenshot. You just need to swipe down your three fingers and you can take screenshot. Pretty helpful. Also, you can completely customize the lock screen. For example, I kept two apps on my lock screen as a shortcut. They're also not in the bottom, I kept them in the center. But you can still put another two apps in the bottom if you want. And if you're like me and if you don't like the Android 10 recent menu, you can switch to slim recent menu. And the reason I prefer this slim recent because I can see all my background apps on the single screen. I don't need to swipe right or left or up and down just to have a look which apps are running in the background. So apart from these, there are hundreds of other features in this room. For example, you can customize your animation and then in the battery saving mode, you have wake lock blocker. By using this, you can increase your battery life. So guys, I have been using this room for last two days and the experience has been amazing. Like no air force close, no random reboot, I can play PUBG easily, there is no problems. And for people asking if the Volti is working or not, the Volti is working perfectly well in this room. So the only downside of this room is that it doesn't have native theme engine. I mean you can install it if you want, but it doesn't come by default. And because of that, I really miss Sign Engine mode. And if you're old flashaholic like me, then you might remember CM13 theme engine the best theme engine ever created for mobile phones. 
Now let's talk about the battery life. Resurrection Remix is using a custom kernel called Pixel Plus and because of that you will get amazing battery life. In my Redmi Note 7 Pro with the stock MIUI I used to get around 7 or 8 hours of screen on time but with Resurrection Remix you will always get 9 and above screen on time. And all thanks to this amazing kernel called Pixel Plus which is also the same kernel you will find in Havoc OS. I'm waiting for Havoc OS Android 10 and Resurrection Remix Android 10 so I can make a comparison video for that. So download links and a step by step guide how to install this ROM is in description box below. But before you go, like this video if you appreciate my work. This is your friend Ness signing out and I will see you tomorrow.